Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another session. Detroit Become Human. Let's see what kind of uh, survey we get today or if this uh, lady will talk to us. Not sure if I already said my name or not. My name is Jack Zeiss. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to get another session of Detroit Become Human underway. Last episode, uh, Kara got away from Zaltic, I think. But we got Luther now. Big boy. Big boy Luther. Let's see. Yep. Oh, never mind. Welcome back. Hi. What would you like to do today? Not talk to you. I would uh, very much appreciate that. It's like she's looking right at me. Yeah, uh, Marcus came up with an idea to rob a factory. Connor, we made a grave mistake with Connor. And Kara got away from this creepy dude. And now we got Big Boy Luther. Big Boy Luther. To be taking care of us. Daddy Luther, if you would. Oh! Software instability. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, he's... I was going to say, why does he have a weapon? We're back at the... Back at Amanda's place. Don't feel like having the umbrella, Mar uh, Connor. There was another... There was a stone that we found, and uh, in that tree, we had missed something else. So we're going to take a... We're just going to take a little walk. To see if uh, we can find the other thing. Amanda's right there, but we're not gonna go for her. We're gonna we're gonna see what else we can do. Nothing over there. All right. Amanda, I'm gonna avoid you. I apologize. I actually want to see if I can touch that stone again. See if the stone does anything. Yeah, let's go see this stone again real quick. Uh, controller, controller, need you to not right now. That's the wrong hand, Connor. Did the same thing. So let's see if there's something else in this garden. Something else in the garden that catches our attention. All right, Amanda, I know you're probably going to yell at me. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? I already took one, thanks. Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Uh, let's do the diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? Signs on the wall. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. Yeah. It's a pity you let it self destruct. I did. Hey! I did not! I knew deviants had a tendency to self destruct under extreme stress, but I didn't expect it to jump from the roof. I should have anticipated that. How is your relationship with Lieutenant Development? Ah, uh, not so good. Not so good. He's openly hostile towards me and continues to show no interest in the investigation. Cooperating with him is a real challenge. It's not good. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. 
Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Anderson. Well, I'm glad. Glad Amanda thinks I'm doing well. I don't. I. I kind of don't want her to be the one I'm getting all the positive vibes to. I want. Is this Car? No, this is Connor. Is he going alone? Never mind. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Oh my gosh, am I gonna stop at his house? He's gonna be so f pissed at me. Oh no. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Oh god. Uh oh. Okay, I did not think I could hold that for that long. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so I gotta find a way, find a way inside, find a way inside. That's a doggo. Find a way inside. I hope nothing happened to Lieutenant Anderson. Computer. Oh, that's a big old mastiff. What a big old puppers. Oh, go God. Lieutenant Anderson. Um, sure. <laughs> Easy, dog. I'm. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to save your owner. All right, like he just understood me. That's a big old dog. Oh, he's probably just drunk. Yeah. Here's one clue. Black lamb scotch whiskey. Oh no. Revolver, one bullet remaining. Oh, no. Slight arrhythmia. Yeah, arrhythmia. Oh. Um. Hello? Oh. Traces of alcohol, scotch whiskey. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <clears throat> it's me, Connor. Oh, gosh. Help him up, I'm going yeah. to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, <clears throat> but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Lift. <laughs> Take Hank to the bathroom. Shut up. Attack. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Attack. Um. Oh. Fuck. I think I'm gonna be sick. I got you, bro. Don't worry. Ah, lift that big oh, boy up. Leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, buddy. Come on. You drunk. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Push. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A 
homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Are you goddamn mission? That's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. Oh, I got you, bro. Let's tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. Bring hay, clean clothes. I'll go get them. What is his... What are those... What? Yeah, what do those say? I'm pretty sure one said I'm grumpy. Sober Hank, uh, can I pet the doggo? Where's the doggo? There's the doggo. I want to pet the doggo. Nope, can't pet the doggo. Damn it. Alright. Clean clothes for old Hank. Uh, open. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Uh, hippie... Hippy, stripy, streaky? Uh. Streaky. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you. Oh, the dry heaves. You hate to see it. Are you alright, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Ew. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia. Learn more about Hank. Congress. Where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. Autumn Blues, Michigan Brothers, Detroit Soul Record. In the Many Hank loves jazz. The specter of a third world war draws closer. I want to see the puppers. No, puppers first. That's right. Heck yeah, we're gonna pet the puffers. Okay, um, what's this? Hank really loves jazz. Um, there was something in the kitchen. All the food. Oh, there's his badge. Oh, oh, what's that? Lo oh, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. What's this? Whoa. He's got a boy. <gasps> Deceased. Oh, no. Oh, man. The gun. Russian roulette. Wanna see how long I can last. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Oh, Hank.
Hey, a dog, Sumo. It's a big I dog. And that's a perfect name for a dog, Sumo. Is it? Yeah. Just take it easy, Sumo. Russian roulette. Good lord. Hank is ready. Left for Eden Club. Take a streaky shirt. Distant attitude. Ryle Hank's dog. Oh, so there could have been a way that maybe the dog wouldn't have attacked. Ring again. <laughs> oh, I wonder if all the all four of those would be ring again and ring again. Well, we'll have to stop it right there. But nice little litty bitty episode just to get the get the blood flowing, get the hand warmers in to see what all the hubbub's about. So thank you so much for stopping in. Thanks for taking time out of your day to check out the episode. I greatly appreciate it. Please enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you're catching this video. And I hope and I better. Oh, I better. See you for the next one. Have a fantastic day.